Based on the latest source and info, we have got some unexpected and insane details that shows, one of the upcoming characters of Natlin going to the standard banner. According to the details we got shows that, the upcoming Natlin characters Sitlali, or Ianzin will be going to the standard banner, after the version 5.6 update. This is actually a very surprising info, because Sitlali and Ianzin are one of the most anticipated characters of Genshin, and now Hoyoverse is adding them to the standard banner. Sitlali is expected to be a 5-star character, and she is expected to be a Cryo Element Catalyst user, and she is expected to be released on version 5.3, which is expected to be on January 1, 2025. Based on the current details we got shows that, by using Sitlali's elemental skill, she can produce an extremely powerful shield in the shape of a ball. And by using her elemental burst, we can strike cryo element multiple strikes, which is similar to Chongyun's burst, but there will be multiple strikes or else swords to deal massive damage. As for Rianzin, she is also going to be a 5-star character, and she is expected to be an electro element polearm user, and she is expected to be released between version 5.4 and version 5.6. The only detail we have about Ianzin is that, her kit include a ability that can deal heavy strikes from above, which is expected to be similar to Xiao's elemental burst. Getting back to the main info, the latest source and info we got shows that, we will get one of Sitlali or Ianzin in the standard banner, and it will be after the version 5.6 is released. This is actually a very bad thing, from this we could expect that Hoyoverse might be disappointing the players on Sitlali or Ianzin's kit, by adding one of them to the standard banner. We know that, the standard banner character's kit is pretty much not good compared to other limited characters, so this could be happening on Sitlali or Ianzin's kit. In my opinion, you should not pull on Sitlali or Lanson's banner when they are released, until we get confirmed info, that shows who will go to the standard banner. Until then you should save your primogems, and wait for their rerun banner to be released, so you don't make any regrets after one of them is added to the standard banner. I'm saying this because you don't have to get regret like me, when Hoyoverse gave Dihaya for free during the Genshin Impact 4th anniversary, and I had to spend more than 130 pulls to get her when she was released. And if you want some extra Primo gems, we are going to do the Blessing of the Welkin Moon giveaway on every week, to win in this giveaway you just have to subscribe, like this video, and comment the reason why you want the Welkin Moon with your UID and server. If I get any more details about the upcoming characters of Natlin, then I'll let you know as soon as possible, so don't forget to turn on the bell icon.